Hey everybody, we're here. We're going to go ahead and do chapter, I believe it's 14 of the Gospel of John, New King James Version. So, we'll go ahead and get started, shall we? Get the page ready to turn, because it's going to be a quickie. I love it when they stick together. All right. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, this is the verse. This is one of the core tenets of the Christian faith. Um, you hear this? It tells you the how you get to heaven. Jesus said to him, him, Thomas, Jesus said to him, I am. I'm going to finish reading this here in a second. But something just popped into my head. I, I, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before. But think of those first two words whenever he's getting ready to say this statement. He says, I am. When they asked what God's name was. What was his answer? I am that I am. Is there significance there? I believe so. Uh, I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. I know I know I just noticed it now. But for those who don't that just believe that Jesus is just the Son of God, not God Himself. You know, one third of the Trinity. Here is another verse where he comes right out and says, I am. Just like God says, I am that I am. That just hit me. But let's finish reading. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you so long and yet you have not known me? Let's read that again because I think he once again, points out, he is God. Okay. If you have, if you had known me, you would have known my father. Which says they, if you know me, you've known my father. They're the same. They're th two thirds of a whole. Holy Spirit's the other third. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, interchangeable spirit and ghost. If you had known me, you would have known my father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. You've seen him because he and his father are one. Jesus and the father are one. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the father. And it is sufficient for us. Okay, he just said that. He, he just told them. And Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Philip, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me? Philip? Question mark. So he just asked Philip a question. Have I been with you so long? 
and yet you have not known me? Philip just asked to see the father, and he just said, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me? Philip? Like, really? Really, Philip? Really? And I, that's just how I, I can see the, the, you know, the facials, the mannerisms. I, 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 it just, it's like emblazoned in my head right now. He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that? Here it is again. He's using the words. I am in the Father and the Father in me. I know it could just be the, the language used. But isn't that convenient? Isn't that perfectly placed? I mean, Jesus and the Father are one. God, the Father, God, the Son. And of course, there's God, the Holy Spirit. But even God told them in the Old Testament, I am that I am. The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority. But the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. It's because they're both parts of God. Or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me. Notice the tense of that word. I mean... You listen to scholars, they say the tense of a word used means something. Like if they say, and they shall, that means, and they shall, that means it, it will come about. It does not mean it has already happened. And if it's left in a present tense in the scriptures, it's because it continues. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. He will give you another helper so that he, is that what, it, let's see, wait, 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 let's make sure I don't quote it wrong. He will give you another helper that he may abide with you for, it does not say so that, it just says that. He may abide with you forever. The Spirit of Truth, which is the Holy Spirit, capital S. The Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. So right here, Jesus is telling them the Holy Spirit is dwelling with them, but he will be in them. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. A little while longer, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me. Because I live, you will live also. At that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. 
He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. <laughs> Judas. I love what they did here. It says Judas. And in parentheses it says, not Iscariot. So it, this is not the Judas who betrayed him. This is a different Judas. Judas said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while being present with you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I am going to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes that when it does come to pass, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming, and he has nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, so I do arise. Let us go from here. I am the true vine, my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away. All right, that's actually chapter 14. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the time and the word. We're going to go ahead and read chapter 15 next, Lord, but we will split it up like we do uh, just to get caught back up on the days, Lord. Uh, with everything that went on with church and everything yesterday, I did miss reading chapter 14. So I'm going to just split them up and load them, upload them both so they'll be there on the channel, Lord. I thank you for all the blessing you give us, Lord. I love you and I praise you. Be with our family. Watch over and be with Rob with the, the things that he has asked for, Lord. And Lord, Father God, be with our church family down in Tennessee, Lord. With the destruction of the, the, the roof of the tent and some of the structure being bent in from the weight of the snow that has fallen on the tent roof down there, Lord. Be with them, Lord. Please protect them. Protect the church. Protect your place, Lord. Allow it to be able to be repaired without much consternation, Lord. Uh, allow it to come in to where they can fix it, Lord. Allow the insurance to pay in the right time for the equipment, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for all that you do. We praise you and we honor you. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. All right, everybody. We'll see you in just a minute for chapter 15.